the days thing i i i didn't send i only sent the one image because it's um such a manky subject <laughs> yeah well you say that but i <laughs> the the idea is that when you paint or you're doing stuff there's more in there than you think and but it's it's not all um plum jam and christmas pudding is it you've got to utilize <laughs> it yourself and i said yeah. in my thing that um one of my goals for next year, besides I'm going to try and do some of those watercolour oils, but that aside, was to start. I've got some, I've been picking out some subjects from um, some magazines I've got. And I'm looking at it thinking they're perfect for simple semi abstractions and things like that. I'll show yeah. you a couple in a minute. And um, I thought, well, well, I'm not going to go the 100. percent You know, I'm, it's too. There's too much detail, or there's there's some nice bits there that you don't want to lose. So you can squint your eyes up and imagine all kinds of things. It's still going to be those base elements, which are the the background. Wait, I was going to say the foreground background. That is really good, isn't it? You, yeah, you know, there's there's more there than. Cool you think yeah. but, which i thought it was such a good subject that um there are actually i am really analyzed the picture that in that depth and i i just thought I'm, i don't want to but sometimes i don't i just want to have look at the thing as i'm doing it like i would if i was stood there with yeah. me brush uh, me easel you know i i i just say oh you know go for it i wouldn't sort of look at all the minutiae and think oh that tree's a bit closer than that one and that one's a bit i just want to i think mm. try and express some feeling rather than mm. um your technical prowess well that just comes with time anyway but i did say to christine yesterday that um this one's right up the um acrylic street because mm. you can use um palette knife and all kinds of weird things to you know credit card to play with it um mm. you could have some real fun with this because you could layer a big lob of paint on for the little overhanging foliage all the comp all the components are there and yeah. and the rest of it's down to <laughs> us making a mess of it <laughs> no i think you have some fun with this I, i'm convinced um if i change my camera well, time will tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time will tell. Oh, there we go. Oh, not mm -hmm. Still got Boris's old toilet roll there, look. <laughs> <laughs> that's from the that's that that comes that's from the um the first lockdown. Mm -hmm. Oh got it's lasting well. <laughs> yeah. Change my microphone. I expect a lot of people have got toilet rolls from the first lockdown the way they were bulk by it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one's from Boris. He sent oh, me a he sent me a a, a box special. of goodies because I was vulnerable. Oh. <laughs> Poor old Dave, he's gonna need right. <laughs> I got that, and one of the things they did, I remember, was um, you'd get a little loads of little soaps, little round ones. They'd obviously got them. They were the ones that you have in hotels. Mm -hmm. um, you know, oh. I'm just trying to work out which glasses to wear. How do I get rid of this row of us pictures on the our faces at the bottom? I don't think you can. Can you? Well, I don't usually have it on there. Just usually have your picture. You, that's always the one that you should have mine big. Yeah, I've got your yeah. big, and then I've got a row of us all on the bottom. Yeah. I've, I've got that as well. We don't so normally I've... have that, do we? Yeah, I've, I've, always, got I've always got a row of everybody. Oh, I don't. No, mm. I've just got myself up in the corner. 
I don't know. Mm. It's oh. trouble is it's different for everybody's. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I've got to minimise sign so it can reduce. Yeah. Because usually when I press off the gallery, your big picture comes up and all your pictures disappear. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I like that with us all on the bottom. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. Trouble is. Joyce is well, gone. Where have you gone, Joyce? I, I've just turned my video off because I don't like me looking at me. Yeah, I know. Mm. Why has it changed then? That's weird. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Are you on your phone or a no, tablet? My, no, I'm a tablet. Right. Have you got a view um, symbol? Um, I've got a mute. I've got a share contact. Oh, what's that at the top? Uh, top right-hand oh. side. That's where it yeah. is. The view one's up there, usually. Um, share video. Oh, God, I can't read it. Hang on, my eyes are going all funny. I've got my glasses on, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I'd better not touch anything. Don't worry. Oh, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, you end up being mm. scared to touch anything because it's going to go pear shaped. Oh, that's good. I've got rid of you all now. <laughs> except, <laughs> except, for me, except for me. <laughs> I know, um, we'll come back again. Oh, oh, oh I don't know. Probably right, not I'll... touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh yeah that, we've all gone now that's good yeah just got you have you carol no i haven't got me at all just got oh, dave's oh well well what more could you want yeah. <laughs> yeah i've just got me stuck up in the corner i keep moving myself away i haven't even i've got everybody so. all right cool have you I'm not like... got have you not got a little blue um, thing on the side of your picture. Me? Yeah, Pauline. No. Um, on your square. No. Oh, yeah. It, but it says mute or I don't know what the other one is. I'm frightened to press it. Oh, well, I pressed one of those. I'm on my computer, so it's quite a big screen. So it's a, Oh, um, it's different altogether then. Right. OK. I've no idea what's going on here. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just amazes on. me how it changes every week. Dave's <laughs> going to need therapy after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go and have a lay down. <laughs> right, I'm going to start. I'm going to make. The phone. I don't know what's going to. I don't know what's going to happen today, but. You know what, Dave? Just carry on. A lot of it, yeah. I'll carry on without me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm oh, going to make my paper nice and wet. I haven't stretched this today. I've just put um, mm. what's the name? Oh. Uh, what's that stuff called? Masking tape around the edge. Oh. I've just squirt a little bit of white in me. Mm, a little cool. bit. Well, quite white, a, yeah. a blob of white. white in there, and I'm just going to make the whole paper. Like, like I would if I was doing acrylic. Yeah. Um, is that thick paper you've got there? It is fairly <coughs> thick. It was just some that was lying around. All right. And I, th I thought, oh, I'll cut it in half and I'll just use that for now. But I've got a backup anyway. But I'm not going to reveal that. Oh. <laughs> so it's, I've wetted the paper and I've put a layer of white on clean my brush off I think there's the sky in the um, picture is quite nice I think I'm going to put my board at a, just at an angle for a sec put that flat I like things running around That's a, hang on, let me, the angle's too much there. There you go. Bit better. I'll get your angles right. Any particular, I've got loads of different, I've never, I haven't changed this palette for weeks, months even. Anyway. 
all this paint we've got, we'll never get through it all, will we? Well, I've only used those same <laughs> colours. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. We'll have to throw it away in the end. It'll go, go off. <laughs> I think this paper is a bit... Um, I think I might have, it might have a coating of something more interesting underneath it. That was a little bit... I'm just going to have a laugh with the colour at the moment. That was a bit of a flesh tone that I've got in here. I've just added a little bit of raw sienna and there's this hint of cerulean blue floating around here. Let's put that in, see what happens. I'm not really interested in perfection. I'm looking for something else. <laughs> That's a, well, I've got a hint of blue in the sky, so that I've just spoiled. <laughs> but, I, but I know with the white there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay. I could actually just drop it in. Look, this is, this is our therapy session for to, this week, this Christmas yeah. therapy. All right. All right. Just do what we like. <laughs> well, with the white base, you have got a little bit more time. And the other predominant colour, going back down through, is raw sienna. So I, I'm going, I'm going in. I'm going mm. in with raw sienna. I'm going down. It gets darker towards the base, so I'll make it darker towards the base. We'll definitely be getting an early look. Ah, oh. don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> no, we won't because I, I just remembered the. We've got all that lovely foreground stuff to to work with. So, I'm, all I'm doing really is banding it down, raw sienna and a bit of burnt sienna at the same time. Towards the foreground, it seems a bit redder, doesn't it? Mm. I'm going to go push the brush up a bit there. Mm. I'm going to leave that bit at the top because I want a layer of big blob of paint there. If you want to have some fun, the, um, I can find a flipping thing. It was there. Yeah, I've got more than one. But you can use the fan brush to push things up, push things around. Just think about texture. Don't worry about it. Because we got the skill to fix it if it goes wonky anyway. <laughs> but I think it's... I think a lot of these, um, when you do this sort of, just a very, a lot of it's oh. about brush technique, just experimenting and saying that needs to be lighter, that needs to be uh, a lighter touch, a heavier touch. Just add a little bit of extra white there. I don't know what paper this is, but it's got... Um, Summit, isn't it? It's got a coating of summit that's very strange. Anyway, that'll do for that. Got these um, top trees to worry about. So, next plan, I've got some green. I'm going to mix up some green, burnt umber, some blue. Mm. He who dares, Rodney. And then think about this background doodah. Because it's soaking wet, everything's really damp. I'm just going to dab them in. There is a gap, isn't there? Sort of a gap. Might want to go higher, you might want to go dire, but just using the um, fan brush, we can push it in. 
and push it up. Yeah, we will be up early lunch today. <laughs> That's you. Got um, but because it's because the the um <clears throat> the paper is quite wet. It is. I don't mind leaving a couple of bird holes at the top. But I've only I haven't actually made took any more paint out of there. It's just the one load on the brush, which was the blue, the green, and a burnt burnt umber. Could be a bit it is a bit bluey, but I don't care. So I'm really more concerned about the varying the the tones. If I was gonna do anything now, what I might do, clean my brush off. Add some more burnt umber to that mix. Hopefully make it slightly tonally different. I haven't got any. <laughs> I spent all that time advocating put stretching your paper because I used the paper around the edges of the palette. Now I haven't got it. I'm, I've had it, haven't I? <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some of that different colour just in the front might work when it dies down just so that it gives a feel that there's something else going on there darker tree well another tree reminds me of um stamp it marsh actually because the if you where you park and look back towards the front, the uh, from the front towards the back, it's just like that. Especially if they don't cut the grass for quite a while. A bit. There you go. Sorted. Do I want extra at the top? Do I want them taller? I want them taller. How am I going to do that? Push them up, yeah? Don't clean water on the... Just wash the brush off. Because it's still wet, I can push this up. Just make them... a bit taller. I think it's going to take about... a little while to dry. While it's still damp as well. If I get the end of my rigger and stick in a few random tree trunks, branches, call them what you like. If you haven't got a thing, you can... somewhere I've got a I had a pointy, a pointy palette thing, but anything that you've got that can scrape really well. Scrapes a bit better than the end of the knife, that's all. You might be able to get a couple of white highlights poking through. I've got some over there. Mm. Now, I'll get, trouble is now I'm getting away from, well, a little bit away from the abstraction that I was, the sort of abstract feel that I was advocating, which I said at the start, because of the subject, it's, it's going to be difficult to do. It's a bit of um, burnt sienna and hint of yellow. I just want it to be a bit more goldy colour. So I'm going to add, add that into the foreground somewhere. I think I'll just use the brush. If you've got a rough um, rough paper, I think it'll look really it'll work really well. Good exercise with using a fan brush though. Because it's almost like the whole the whole thing can be done with a fan. 
just a bit of pushing and to in and throw in. The bit at the bottom adds some of this dark, but because we've got the yellowy color underneath, it's not gonna go wildly off like the, like the background trees are. Hopefully I've got enough of it just to put in something. Of course, the real, the, the real hard bit, nasty bit, is putting in some trees up through there. Why? Because you've got to use your sort of rigor to get really nice sort of branches and that. And I know from experience there was the rigor being, well, my rigor is anyway, um, Add a bit of burnt umber in there. You push it down and you end up with a thicker line than you wanted. But it doesn't matter. Do whatever you like. Paint grass. See what happens. Mm. I like it. This is, this is, if you've Having a bad day, this is definitely a good way of forgetting about it. Darker at the bottom, but later on, we'll put some when it's dry, we can put some really nice. Um, actually, the, the world's your oyster because you can put red, white, yellow, all kinds of. Um, mm. different colours to turn it into something more interesting. Well, no, to lend the eye. Lead the eye. It just adds a little bit of a bit like cooking, in it? Put the ice on top. A bit of pecans. Hundreds of thousands, call them what you like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to somehow Get a bit of tissue. Cool. Add a piece of tissue. Here. Dry off this brush a bit. Take a lot of the of the oomph off of it, and then use it to push some of this up. I could almost do this with my right hand if I, want, if I wanted to. This isn't watercolour paper. I've made a big faux pas here. <laughs> it isn't. Um, I don't know. You know I might have um, primed it with <laughs> acrylic primer or something. Hence the reason it was... I just want a light... brush you know hardly any paint on it just to push some of those bits with the background up into the so I've got a, a line of dark a line of light a line of mid light and then down the bottom here anything goes just give an impression that there's something going on in there really mother invention now I was trying to think because I've got to put some trees in there, some branch work. So, really, not even pushing on the brush, just rest, letting it flow. It does feel like you're doing an acrylic painting. Gosh. Hmm. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. I think I could get, yeah, it's okay. Get away with that. Stand back. Right. Now the scary bit. 
is to find a rigger, find some bits going up. So I'm going to go green and burnt amber, sticking with my theme colours. Put a bit blue in if you want, just to be saying what we're doing. And draw a flipping line with the <laughs> just get your get your um rigger and draw a line straight up there you go it's thicker at the bottom so push harder at the bottom Ooh. Don't do this after you've been drinking the night before. <laughs> but oh, there's, there's that one, and there's another one going up. So I'll put another line up. See what I mean? One false move with the rigger, and you get a thicker line. <laughs> it oh. turns into a sort of sausage shape. No mind. This is why they use those doodah sticks in when you paint oils. It allows you to rest your arm over where, you, oh. where you're going. I can't be. Be all right. We can do. Um, I think these ones will push them a bit further up. <sighs> it's a confidence thing. Once you once you think about it, it you muck it up. <laughs> so say. My tree. So it was that tree, it was sort of in three bits, believe it or not. Well, mm -hmm. that's the easy bit. <laughs> It's all about quantity of paint on the brush, isn't it? How much? It really is fascinating. Lift it off. My paint's a bit dry, actually. Get it a bit darker. Bit of water. See, that's the thing about rigor. Hmm. It's gonna, but I don't care. It's gotta be therapy. Enjoyable. to watch it. Didn't need to do that. Never mind. Tidy these branches up. Trouble is one tree goes into the other. Terry would enjoy this one, wouldn't he? Who? Terry? Terry. Oh, there's trees. Yeah, but the, the thing is, I don't want them to be Perfectly symmetrical. It's all down to yeah. It's... But it's breaking the the mold of doing it 
the old way mm. or, and saying yeah. I want to ch I want to do it more contemporary mm. yeah and the next thing is to get us a little the hard bit is getting these as little faint lines as you can. Mm. But I'm deliberately being nonchalant and just saying if there are mistakes, what I if there are bits there that I think ooh, wouldn't have done that's because that's how we've done it in the past you know what I mean if you yeah. if you do it the same if you do it the same as you've always done it you'll end up with the same results so don't I haven't finished yet anyway you know me the last 15 minutes ends up being the best bit of the bloody picture <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully but you can change the colors as well there's joyce does it you're not constricted to using the colors that you've always used in fact that's what you don't want to do we want to change them well i've got a bit of wiggle room on my brush When I dry it off in a minute, it's starting to dry. So the paper is has got an element of watercolor about um, texture about it. Well, it looked like watercolor paper when I, <laughs> when I, when I picked it up. I thought, mm, yeah, that that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Something going on there with that tree. It's all about shape, form, and colour, isn't it? Just messing about. So I get a bit of darker colour, burnt umber, and some ultramarine. I dislike. It does tend to take over the the colour. What I like about this painting, like this, is you have got to sit down and faff around with your with your hands and be all delicate. It's just sort of get the brush and go. Which is so much, so much fun. Well, I don't know if it is fun, really. It's, it's still, still having to concentrate. It's like there. You hear them um, see a, a picture in an exhibition or something. So you always hear it, someone in the background saying, Phew, my bloody five year old kid could do that. <laughs> He might be able to, but he, but repeating it over and over again, it, it doesn't work like that. That's why I was on about those, um, the um, Christmas Priory last week was saying, you know, there's no, I don't want it to look like a prior. Well, I, it's sort of, it's not about making it look, I want it to look like the 1960 nine um christmas stamp that they put on blue peter or something you know yeah. i don't want it to look like an illustrative drawing that was done in a studio somewhere and the fact that the church is at a wonky angle so what it, when you frame it up, it looks magic. 
That's absolutely brilliant. There you go. I told you I was good. <laughs> I'm just going to dry that off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking. I was talking to myself, really. <laughs> well, I'm just going to use the hair dryer on it. Just to, um, so, what if you've got acrylic? They'll they'll start to dry really quick, but this doesn't. And I want to to put some extra bits. In. Definitely down there. If I kept touching it when I was drawing it, I'd have blue bits all over the world. <laughs> It's not so absorbent as the uh, as the normal watercolor paper. Not so, Duda. What I was looking for now is to make mix up some really light. I've read this before. Shadowy color. So it's going to be a hint of. Blue and a hint of light red and a lot of water and the stain with that brush, fan brush. And I'll just you can see the 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 paint is sort of sitting on the on the surface of the paper. It's not it's not like normal watercolour, it watercolour, it just sort of drizzles in. So I'm um, fighting a funny funny battle here. A bit more of that. A bit of the rose madder, hint of blue. Love it when things go right. And we'll dab it in. Just drop it in. Oh, come on. Try not to make the other paper move. That's three different riggers. Don't know which one gonna do the job. Just mix up a light mix of something. So if I can put a few extra twiggy bits in. You get that sometimes with trees, don't you? They, they get so many it looks like there's 20 million twigs in. But I don't we're going to get that now. Blend it away. Keep lifting it up. I'm just flicking it. See if I can 
look, make it look like there's lots of fingers pointing up into the sky. I don't know. It's quite fun, this really, because it happens quite often with me, doesn't it? That's what I, the um, end up having a sort of Tuesday morning challenge against things that I didn't really want to do. I.e., this paper isn't absorb isn't absorbing any colour, so I'm having to adjust the way. I'm working. I suppose all those years of doing acrylics on canvas, um, on paper, and that wasn't wasted. <laughs> Couldn't have been that bad. I sold them all. I haven't got any. Thank you. I haven't got any of my any acrylic paintings. I used to do um, sort of triplets and triptychs and stuff. Mm -hmm relating to, well, painting like this, really. Footloose and fancy free. I remember, I must, I've told it a thousand times, but the guy, the old boy next to me, Bernard Shaw, he used to get really angry because, you know, really some of the abstract and so-called contemporary stuff. He used to put a, you know, he said, what is it? What the hell? What is it? The pain? What is it? It doesn't, it doesn't, it isn't anything. And then he put his palette up on the wall in a frame and sold it. <laughs> you know, he used to do acrylics. And it was just a board with paint that he's been you know, mixing on, put it in a frame, and sold it, and he actually labelled it. You tell me. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. It was his way of making a point. You know. Yeah. Of course. People bought it. Work that out. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the rigger? Get the rigger. Not the rigger. The fan brush I need more I need that color which is oh look at that do you see that mm. that's ultramarine blue does it to me every freaking time <laughs> oh dear I just wanted a, a light shadowy color what do I end up with Something flipping horrible. I just wanted to put something up in amongst this area here, sort of, because sort of grassy stuff. Especially around where the trees meet. This is decisions time now. It's your picture. You need to make some Decisions of where, so, I've got me, of where you want things to go. But a little bit of that, that mixture, shadow mixture, will go a long way to add in some sort of meaning. Because these people that buy these sort of pictures, they like I want to, oh, I like to know what it, look, what it is. I don't like to have to use my imagination. As I say, you can have fun with the rigor to disguise. I know, that's a good word, that. It's the story of my artistic life. Painting something and then disguising it because I don't like bits of it, <laughs> you know, hiding the bits that I don't like and making them more imaginative. Do it all the time. Right, that's that bit done. I told you we're going to have an early lunch today. 
It's all right. I've got my finger in them. They put a hole here to put your finger through and hold the palette. And I always end up putting my finger through it and my thumb over the top of the white. <laughs> so, look. Mm. <laughs> what the, what, what's the point of the hole? I might as well. Right, now I want some lovely burnt sienna, which I'm going to do something I don't usually do. Um, and clean out that pat. Yeah, go on. Just so I've got a Terry Harrison's one of his um, autumn gold colours would be nice. It's quite quite a bright colour, isn't it? Now I put two stalks going up here. And they both I'm just gonna put what I think where I think. See what I mean about the different the brighter colour. I wanted it to come in Ooh. so that it will look like foliage of some description. Just look at, I'm still looking at the picture a bit. It's like catkins. <laughs> ah, they do it at the moment because I haven't put any shadow on them. They could be, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they be? I I don't go out that often, so I wouldn't, I haven't seen anything. Okay. And this bit round here, I'm just going to go look for the bottom. A little bit more interest there. Adds a bit. And now these bits, what I was saying about that, I still want more definition of the foreground. So I'm going to mix up some more dark. I've got through some burnt umber today. I put a load more in there earlier. I can't get it real dark. I might just add a bit of the um, rose madder in. That, that gives it really dark. Sticking with the feet. Sticking with my fan brush, and I'm just going to add a few more darks in at the bottom. The idea is, I think that my argument is that these pictures, these sort of pictures, you shouldn't. Shouldn't be spending days and weeks doing them. You know, they're about spontaneity and having put in what's in your your feelings into it. Even to the extent of inventing. Any different ways of adding texture. It's a bit like being at art school, isn't it? A rigger? Have I got a rigger? I've got riggers coming out of the woodwork here, I tell you. Um, add a bit of dark to that. That's a Christine's green. <laughs> it's real real name is hookers, but I, I think that's a bit. I think that's Are a bit you rude. That I'm, a I'm just saying it's a bit <laughs> rude. So I'm sticking with Christine's green. <laughs> no, just well, it's a bit damp. The um, my little leaf things, but yeah, I think they could do with a little bit of. Shadow here and there, not a lot. 
I don't know how you do it, Dave, in the time. I, I, I think it's absolutely. But if you've got some nice acrylics, you could have some real brighter, because they'll be slightly more opaque colours anyway. Watch them leaves. So you'll put more, you'll get a better, well, I don't know, better is the right word, a different feel to it. Perhaps slightly more opaque, but that that in itself creates um, problems because opaque brings things closer, closer to the foreground. And do you want that? Right, let's have a laugh. There's a little red bit there, so I'm, I'm going to, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to stick a, some white there, a little bit of white there, and on top of that white, I'm going to drop in a little bit of yellow. I to know what these flowers are anyway. She'll tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought you were doing a couple of bobbins. <laughs> I love your imagination. Oh, yes. Don't, I don't care what they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're... But sometimes you, it, that's what I said right in the start was that the foreground is your, I was going to say, it's not a get out clause, is it? It's a, an area where you can put in a couple of splashes of colour to make the the overall thing more. Don't do that. Sorry. I did it. <laughs> I was just thinking out loud. Do you do that when you paint? I do it quite a lot. You talk to yourself, said, don't don't do that. Oh God, too late. It was putting <laughs> putting the the tip of the red brush in the in the white paint. Oh. Because you sort of intuitively mm. know that's going to spoil it. I'm hoping, I'm just putting a few bright areas onto the tree trunks to set them off. And I'm hoping it will blend and dry. That looking like flipping snow. I just put some clean water on the brush and push them around a bit. And also twist the brush uh, it's like it's a circle. Try and give them, make them look like they're angular or cylindrical. Think cigars. It's a bit, a bit messy there, but being watercolour, you can actually lift it off, and move it around. So, especially those thick ones there. But when it's dry, you can always pop in with a clean water and a damp cloth and just lift a few bits off. But I'm doing it now. What I said not to do, I've started doing it. Adding... <laughs> Adding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. adding more information than, than, than it really needs. But, hey, yeah, give us a brush and we're an artist. We can, <laughs> you, you do things the way you do them. And that's it. Told you, early lunch. Mm. Well, 
Let's have a look with the. I put a mount on it. It takes more than too much time. And it's, when you frame it, it tells the story, doesn't it? Where and what yeah. it says. Okay. Is it any good? I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Oh.